we got married in the hospital, so we were only married for a month, but 21 years of fun, of good stuff. Liver, kidney, everything kind of shut down. So he was in a coma. He woke up out of the coma about seven days later, and he was like, we're getting married, we're getting married. Most human beings don't make sense of their life on an Excel spreadsheet. They make sense of their life through a story, a way that we understand what's important and how we make meaning in our life. The palliative care team, Carol and Dr. Stu, and they were in and they were talking about what, what could be done that is not medically necessary, but spiritually or comforting or whatever for the patient or, or myself. Carol, I call her my wedding planner. She'd drop by and visit and about anything, all, all sorts of stuff, and always, is there something I can do? The first job of palliative care is to understand the various stories from the patient and family perspective. With that shared understanding, we can co-create a future. We said, I do, and turn around and the whole place was full. But all the doctors and the nurses and stuff had come and all the people that we touched. Our goal is to maximize the quality of life and to minimize suffering. It's very important not to equate palliative care with end-of-life care. Introducing palliative care early in a serious illness before end-of-life care or dying are active issues um, allows us to provide better quality care for patients and families. She had an infection in her heart that was eating it and they told her that uh, she probably wasn't going to live through the weekend. Just attacked my heart and I had to have it removed and have the mechanical heart put in. I have pretty good energy and I feel pretty good. It's alright, at least I'm here. <laughs> palliative care would come by just to come in and talk and see how I was doing. They treat everyone as an individual. They don't treat everybody the same. I have been home since December 21st, so I get to spend Christmas with my family. They both said that I was a Christmas present coming home. I think it should be good uh, when I get my heart. I think it'll be really good and I'll some patients would rather focus on quality of life, even if that meant not living quite as long. Uh, others, what's important to them is living as long as possible. And that what we need to do is to be able to have these conversations with patients and their families. Having a two-pronged approach to delivering palliative care. One where we are training all clinicians in the basic skills of palliative care. And, but then we also have clinicians who are specifically trained as palliative care specialists to help ensure that they get the best possible care that matches their goals and values. We find that patients and families who have this service tend to use less resources, have better outcomes, be more satisfied, and live longer. I'm optimistic most of the time right now than I was six months ago. I have my health, I have my family, I have a lot of friends, and so I'll get, I'll get through.